This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Now there is corn growing too. Woo, I love corn. Collect all the corn and all of the pumpkins. All right. So they want us to use no more than 15 blocks. We have one on the board right now or in the area. When run, we should only use pick pumpkin twice and pick corn twice. Oof, that seems challenging. I'm going to start by what I always do. It's hard to kind of visualize it, so I just start throwing down code. All right, moving forward once. Twice should put us over the corn, and there's six pieces of corn. So one, two, three. And I know I'm over here, but we're just testing things out, which you can do in code a billion times forever. Three, five, and six, and then move forward and pick pumpkin one, two. All right, let's just try this out. I can use step if I want to see it move individually. Okay, move forward, pick one corn, pick one corn, or run for all of it. Okay, so that's headed in the right direction. Now, how much corn would we want to pick? Well, I mean pumpkin, two more, right? Okay. And then what would we want to do? After we do all of this, I would want to, well, I think move forward twice. And then pick corn a lot of times. How many? Oh, it's the same amount. Hmm. Let's hit run. Yeah, okay. So like always, if we're repeating ourselves in code, there's probably a better way to do this. So, well, actually, let's start up here. How many times am I saying pick corn? Six times. Yeah, let's not do that to ourselves. I'm going to get rid of this and just use a repeat block and drop pick corn in here. And now it will be automatically repeated six times. We don't have to put it out there so much. So now what my program says is I'll move forward once, twice, and I'm going to hit this. And the computer says, oh, I need to run this code six times. So I'll run it once, twice, three times four times, five times, six times. And now when I hit step, it's going to drop beneath it because it's done with the loop. Okay. Now what else am I repeating here? Right here. How many picked pumpkins? I have four of them. We don't need to do that. We can use a repeat block. Pick pumpkin and a four. Okay. And then drop. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so we're getting there. Keep in mind, we need it less than 15 blocks. So, well, what was I about to do down here? I'm only picking three corn. I need six. So as we did up here, zoop, pick corn, how many times? Six. And the reason I'm not doing move forward, right? Since it's two, I could put a two here and put move forward in it, but that's still two blocks of code. It wouldn't really matter either way. Pick forward six. And then what do I want to do? Well, I want to move forward and I need to get this pumpkin. Oh, how do we get the pumpkin many times? All right, so let's repeat that action. This is one way of doing this. I'm going to show you another way, a uh, more technical way, but a bit more efficient. First, let's look at this. So, yep, yep, I'm going to move forward. I'm going to pick corn and we did it. Now, let's take a look at it, though. Like I always say, if you're repeating yourself in code, there's probably a better way. And let me take a look at this. Identical. Move forward, move forward, repeat six, pick corn, move forward, repeat four, pick. So we could actually use what is called a nested loop, and it's kind of technical sounding, but instead of repeating ourselves, we can put all of this in a repeat block. We can put repeats in a repeat block. And now it will still do it twice. And we only use nine blocks. Both ways are correct. Um, this bit way is more efficient, but both are correct. We did it. Onward.